I got 27 orders going out for $634. However, not all of these 27 need to go out today. I think the total that's actually going out today is going to be, we got 21 going out today. Yesterday's total was $494. So 494 of the 630 whatever dollars is actually today's order. So 21 orders going out, $494. Let's go ahead and get these items pulled, guys. What's going on, everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Obviously, as you guys saw from the intro, today's going to be a what so video. Got 21 orders going out. Not a bad day. Uh, things have been kind of being steady lately uh, within the past few few days. Let's hope today continues with that trajectory. Uh, today's Thursday. Um, got one more day in the weekend. Uh, and then pretty much this year is going to be on, on, you know, on the last couple of days. What's today? The 28th? 29th so yeah we're ending the year out you know I, i'd like to say it was stronger but you know it is what it is economy's in a weird spot right now all we can do is take what we can or you know receive what we can rather and uh make the most of it so let's get to pulling these orders guys the first item going out are these dance go uh hill wedges wedges sandals of some sort or nature um these are going out for thirty dollars Got this St. John's Bay shirt, um, new with tags. It's nothing special, uh, going out for $11.05. American Eagle hoodie, going out for $10.73. And I just sold something, or received an offer on something. Uh, sold some Crocs for $15.40. Next item is $47.17. We got us a sweater, a granny sweater. 4717. I told you guys, man, it's it's granny season. Granny sweater season. Mousimo. Uh sweater sold for let's see what this guy sold for. Twelve dollars. So if you guys uh can find, you know, these are newer tags, new old stock vintage items. Uh not like great sellers, but if you guys watched the last day in the live or if you guys not great sellers, but if you guys watched the last What's So video, you would have saw that I, I've been selling them. Some person bought three of them. Uh, next item is, uh, guess what, guys? Another sweater. White Stag, which was actually what the three were uh, in the last video. So this one is 5411. 5411. Got us, uh, White Stag cardigan sweater. So for how much did this American Eagle jeggings sold for eleven oh seven? Jeggings are not in style like they used to be, so it takes a little bit longer to sell them, and it sells for a lower sales price. But you know, a sell is a sell, uh, so it is what it is. Got these Lulu Lemon khaki shorts uh, sold for twenty seven seventy five. This is a sweatshirt from the Buckle brand uh, or the Buckle store called Gilded. I had never heard of it. I just looked it up because it looked different. It's got like this crisscross pattern going on on it. Uh, when I looked it up and I saw that it was from the Buckle, I just bought it anyway. Whether it was going to take a while to sell or not, it sold for 15 bucks. And it only took like a month, which is, you know, not the fastest, but it's definitely not the slowest. So uh, it's pretty cool with me, you know what I mean? Not uh, not too long of a time to hold on to, and it sold for an okay price. These Levi's 511 pants, they were uh, trashed, thrashed, distressed, faded. Uh, I like a lot of wear on them. So for um, $11.25, took not as long as I would have thought, uh, being that they were in rough condition. Uh, probably like three weeks because it was over here in this area. So these are all the newer listings. Um, I sent an offer on them. Uh, I think it was a 30% off offer. And surprisingly enough, somebody accepted the offer and they paid immediately. So let's go. Uh, next item is going to be another pair of shorts. 81.32. Sold a couple pairs of shorts yesterday, man. I'm really uh, happy about that. It's always a good thing when shorts sell in the winter time. These are Silver Jeans Company. Uh, they sold for let's see here, 9.75. Banger, making boatloads of cash here, baby. <laughs> let's see, 81.42 is the next item. Uh, as you can see, guys. 
I'm not selling stuff for large amounts of money here, right? Uh, it just goes to show you that even if the market is down, you can still generate sales and still make okay money. You might just have to up the volume of sales that you're doing, which is definitely the case for me, right? Um, 21 sales going out and only $494 or whatever I said the gross was, and that's before shipping. So, you know, a good $150 of this is going to be going on shipping and then, um, I still have to set aside money on taxes. So if I want to see, you know, a good amount of money net, I got to sell a lot more items. And it just is what it is, man. I'm not going to let the times get me down. All I'm going to do is do the best that I can to sell as many items as possible. So that way my net does go up. Anyway, these are REI nylon pants, $18.75. So not a horrible sell compared to the other items that have been selling. Uh, so this is um pretty decent in my book right here. Another decent sell is this J. Crew uh chambray like denim type shirt. This is new with tag, so it didn't sell for as much as I would have liked to, but it sold for 19 bucks, uh, which is still fair because I got it from the bins. It's not like I paid uh retail thrift prices for it so a dollar fifty into uh 19 bucks is a pretty good return on my investment especially compared to some of these lower dollar sales that i've been making uh yesterday so you know i'm definitely not going to complain about a 19 dollar bill uh next item is actually a good item as well 85.37 let's see where are you at so this sweatshirt is the epitome of grandma core it's got the collar, the polo collar on the, on the sweater. Uh, jersey's tag, so it's not like branded or anything. Uh, it's got these hearts like crocheted or embroidered on there or sewn on there. Uh, so literally had to like sell it with keywords. Uh, the title that I used was Vintage Sweatshirt, Women's Large Red Collar hearts elbow patches grandma core so it's like kind of a choppy title but still the item wasn't listed long and it sold for 20 bucks so pretty good uh sell considering the fact that it's just a basic unbranded uh simple sweatshirt you know what i mean items like this is where learning your keywords uh come into play because when there's no brand which is the strongest determining factor on how someone's going to find your item in the first place you just got to type in the keywords of uh what people might be looking for based off what's trending at the time you're listing it time for another incredible freaking sell guys four dollars and 55 cents on these uh i think they're aeropostle jeans these were uh pretty pretty bad shape guys like i shouldn't have even listed them uh i got these from the homie where i got all the bke jeans and lucky brand jeans and stuff from his wife uh they had a one dollar price tag on them i guess they tried to sell them at a yard sale but they're in pretty rough shape uh so i listed them on ebay i think for like six bucks or something like that and someone sent me an offer or either i sent them an offer uh and we ended up at 455 so hey whatever i'll take it still profitable uh very small margins but still profitable Got some Eddie Bauer um, flannel line. They're like soft shell, like track pants. You know, uh, I don't know technically what the term for these are, but since Eddie Bauer's like an outdoor brand, I just call them hiking pants. But they got the flannel lining on the inside. These sold for 15 bucks. And I got another pair of these. They're black. Uh, picked them up at the same time. So hopefully the other pair sells as fast as these did. Got this Premier by Healing Hands scrub top, medical scrub uniform top, sold for seven bucks. Billabong swim trunks, these sold for fifteen dollars. They haven't been listed very long at all because this is the most recent listed inventory that I have, and I list about two to three boxes a day, and they were in this box. So fifteen bucks, guys. Sold decent amount of summer attire swimming trunks i sold a pair of swim trunks yesterday the day before yesterday too so uh actually pretty glad to see this type of stuff uh be moving still next sale is 8847 this is a u.s navy skill craft or is it an air force yeah. u.s air force jacket um not vintage or nothing like that just a standard u.s air force jacket sold for 21.75 
So following the U.S. Air Force uh, jacket, we have a United States Marine Corps vintage tank top. It is stained, very obvious stain right there on the shirt. Uh, I listed it for $6. The guy sent me a $1 offer. I counted with three and he accepted it. So $3 sale, not uh, very great, you know, but I will make profit off of it. Got this polo hoodie. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched Good Game Grabs' video where I told him that even distressed polo will sell. This hoodie has stains on the collar, a hole right on the, like not a, not a gigantic. It's, let me try to show you guys the picture. Let me just show you on the computer. That would be the easy thing to do. Okay, so if you can see, there's a hole right here on the front. I guess I'm not gonna get any better than that. I've got this really small computer. But there's a hole on the front, a stain right there. Let's see where else. Uh, the sleeves are stained, the hems are stained. Uh, the arm opening, the cuff is stained. It's pretty, pretty bad condition, guys. Uh, multiple stains in multiple places on this thing. And, uh, the buyer still, the buyer paid $15 for this hoodie. So, and that's without shipping. So pretty good sell, 15 plus shipping on a really, really thrashed, you know, distressed, grungy looking hoodie. Let's go, baby. And the last one going out are these Birkenstock sandals. Um, had these listed for a little bit higher. There is like debris on the bottom. I think somebody stepped in gum. I wasn't able to get that all the way off. I listed it that way and did make a note of it. However, if they did read that or not, I don't know. Nobody's really checking the bottom of shoes these days anyway. So 25 bucks for these going out. Uh, super light. Throw them in a poly mailer. Probably about five bucks for shipping. So that is all of the sales. So yeah, guys, that's all the sales I got going out. Not a whole lot of, uh, you know, bangers, not a lot of home runs, just typical bronze and some silver items. You know what I mean? Uh, not the ideal strategy, uh, not the ideal situation to be in. But at the end of the day, I can only do what I can do to get the ball rolling. I can list items for prices that I feel is at market value and never sell an item if I don't accept an offer. So uh, you guys might want to be thinking about your strategy. You might want to be thinking about the niche you're in. If you're not making the sales that you want to make or the amount of sales that you want to make, probably change lanes. You know what I mean? Find something that's more valuable uh something that's more in demand uh my girl says vintage toys are doing really well right now so maybe you guys try and find some of those uh but for me and what i do i'm gonna just accept lower offers and uh accept more of them so that's really all i got for you guys hopefully you guys learned a brand or two so that's gonna do it for this video guys catch you guys on the next one but until then let's make this cash guys peace but yeah man these are, you know, the times that that's, that's going to do it for this video, though, guys. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video.